Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm here at Satellite Asia where I'm pleased to be joined by Imaiz Sad of Thraya. Imaiz, thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much. It's good to see you again at this fantastic show. Thank you. Now let's start with the show. Why are you exhibiting here in Asia? Uh, thank you very much. Actually, uh, we have been in Asia Pacific now since 2006. We launched our services officially in 2008 by the uh, Thraya 3, which is still in service. Asia Pacific has been always a, an important market for us because of the nature of the uh, geographical areas here, the need of maritime connectivity, how advanced this uh, part of the world in terms of uh, businesses and uh, connectivity requirements. So we have been uh, doing quite well and we are hoping of as well to continue this journey in the Asia Pacific. Now, let's speak a little bit more about the Asia Pacific. What particular countries are you servicing? Perfect. We, uh, we, as you know, we have an operation in Singapore, so we manage the uh, Asia Pacific business from our Australia office here in Singapore, which is we just celebrated as well last year 15 years of presence in Asia Pacific. Uh, there is a lot of markets that we are focusing on. If I zoom in, of course, uh, China is one of our biggest uh, interests. We have a very good business in Vietnam. We have just got the license in Thailand for the first time, which is we are very excited about it because that's a new, complete market for us, where we are trying to position our flagship product, the Marine Star, which is, has been uh, really doing well in the region. Of course, being in Singapore itself as a business hub in the Asia Pacific gave us the ability to work with a lot of dynamic service partners and system integrators who are doing a lot of business around the area. One of my partners here, he has 1,000 point of sales around Asia Pacific, so that's like uh, the best thing you can dream of. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really important market for us in, in, in all aspects. Yeah. Now looking at your actual products, when's the next broadband portfolio, next gen broadband portfolio going to be launched? Thank you very much. You know being part of Yasat actually has given us a, uh, a great ability to, to bring things fast forward. So our partnership with Cobham has really proven that we are moving in the right direction. Copam has been in this industry for a very long time. The, uh, the launch is expected by Q4. We already received some uh, units that we are playing with at the moment, and I will be happy to show you later the, some of this equipment. So we are targeting to launch these services by Q4, and as you know now, our T4 launch date is set for early uh, 2024, so the, the next generation and the next product, the Gen 2 product, will definitely complement a new chapter for Thraya and for Yasat in the, in the region and in our uh, coverage area. It's a very competitive market. How does Thraya stay ahead of the competitors? It, it, it is. Look around. It, uh, it's, it's changing every year. There's a lot of collaborations, merger and acquisitions. I think since the beginning we have maintained a very clear vision to position ourselves the most innovative, affordable satellite provider and I, I believe we did well. We have sold more than 1.2 million of voice devices in the world and I don't think no satellite operator has done that. We have uh, uh, introduced the only smart satellite phone, the X5 Touch. We have introduced the Sat Sleeve, uh, which is as well one of our best product. XT Lite today is a, one of our most affordable satellite phone and it is doing quite well. Uh, we always, uh, you know, we have uh, the roaming agreement as well. This is one of the important elements that others doesn't have. So we have roaming with the entire GSM networks in the world, both ways. And this gives a freedom and ability for a lot of users that they can continue doing business and making calls and do whatever they want to do in, uh, in, in, uh, in, a, in an environment that try to provide this connectivity. We have shifted as well as you heard with the IUT M2M, we invested in, in ESAT. And that's something I think IoT M2M today became the, the main pillar of, of growth in the satellite industry. And we are taking that very serious. And I think we will continue to come up with some, uh, some innovative ideas. Being part of Yasat, uh, fully owned by Mubadala, gave us this wide you know, access to, uh, to, to different strategy, different people, different funds, different uh, uh, business plan that we can bring fast forward. And, I believe it's a very competitive market the way you describe it, but uh, if you have been in this game for a long time, you need to prepare yourself always for, for next.
What are the priorities then for the next six months? We will continue as well in the marine. Uh, I think Marine Star in this region has been has proven to be the the product of choice for a lot of business partners and, and customers and users and IoT and to as well. And we are just announced in our latest Asia Pioneer. We report every every partner to Asia here. We had a small gathering where we introduced many things. But we are bringing back one of our best products, the Dual Mood XT Pro Dual, which is going to be launched in December. And that's the product we just continued. But there's a huge demand that came to us from different segments, energy and uh, defense sector. So we are reintroducing this again, so that's uh, an exciting news for us. As well with the next generation, I think we are going to have uh, a different kind of uh, configuration with the ship owners. There is some tactical uh, connectivity that you need to know. And the new terminals actually are coming ready to plug and play. And that which is making it easier to attract more, more people. Our collaboration with many, many uh, companies, many system integrators, product manufacturers continue. Our strategy team are always looking carefully for things that we can do in, in Asia Pacific and also in Middle East and Africa and, and Europe. So we, we continue to work really in, uh, in, a, in a dynamic way to come up with something always exciting for the, for the market. Let's go back to Yarsat. You're actually in the mobility division of Yarsat. What does that actually mean? I think that completes the, uh, the, the piece of puzzle. Because now you, if you look at Yarsat today, we, we cover everything. So the, the VSAT of uh, Viaclick and the uh, EU's joint venture we have gave us the uh, high speed VSAT uh, business. And you have the mobility to complete that or to create the backup. Voice for us, I, I can say that by, uh, with all confidence, we are a market leader and the quality and the product and the functionality. So Yasat today, I think, has positioned itself as a full suite of services that can anybody dream of. So if a customer looking for, you know, we have also special unit uh, Yasat government services, which is the main provider of connectivity for the UA Army and for other government entities. So we cover the commercial, enterprise, government, maritime, plus the fixed application that Yasat is doing. And Yasat continue as well. To, uh, to invent new ideas in this satellite industry. And I think the most important thing that being in UAE itself, and I think you have witnessed the shift of, uh, of a space in UAE from the government side, from the young students, from universities, to have this kind of technology as part of the education system, I think gave us the, 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 the leverage of being part of that since the beginning. Raya started back in 1997. And until today, we are witnessing that there is a still market for satellite connectivity. Behind me, you can see this was a very important uh, incident happened last year in Philippines where those fishermen started in the sea, they had their boat sink. And the only live line they had at that moment was a Troia XT light. And they managed to save them after 10, 15 days in the water. So our, always, uh, our slogan is save and improve lives. And I think we have proven that we are part of of that for a long time now. Now as we know, very disruptive market at the moment. You've got Leo Constellations, everybody's talking about it. Yep. What's your view on the market? It's, uh, it's nice. When you talk, if you talk about satellite the way we are talking today, 20 years ago, people will look at you like, what satellite? But I think there's more people now know more about the services. The question is who now has the best services, who is really agile to continue in this journey and oil band has been always a very stable uh, network so uh, it doesn't really uh, you'll have continuity of connectivity despite weather despite anything you don't have to wait for another uh, satellite to come and, and cover you it is there it's available I think it's good for customer but for us it has been always the mobility scenario so you, people on the move people on the uh, remote areas, uh, people on the seas, uh, IoT, M2M, energy sectors, all this will still need system. Even today, in, in today's world, there's a, areas which is fully covered by VSAT, Thraya is the backup for that, because they know sometimes they will need to have this connectivity. So we complement each other. I, it's make the competition a little bit uh, fun, but that's how it is. You have to compete with yourself, you have to compete with others, and I think it helps us to take the best out of us. Because if you are really relaxed, you cannot really do what you want to do 
uh, the way we are doing it today. But when you see this competition and you see this uh, merge and acquisition between two big players, and I think we have done everything we need to be doing now. Being part of Yasat, that was the end of us being part of uh, uh, one of the biggest players in the, in the market. And I think gave us the financial stability, gave us the, uh, the, uh, the, the additional vision that we, we wanted to have and also help us to build more satellites. So the next generation program is really big for us and we are looking forward to give our customers now the double speed that they have been dreaming of finally with the capability of Traya 4 and the next generation product. So the journey will continue. This industry is very unique and it has uh, a certain requirement that you need to really know about it and certain regulations and certain you know, type approvals and you have to go through a lot of things. We have done most of that and for us now we're just adding value added services. I have, I'm happy to tell you if, if, when it comes to Asia Pacific, it's really one of my best time because I talked to service provider that they took, take our products and they build a lot of amazing things around it. Well, it's exciting times. Thank you for talking to me today. At all, at all. thank you very much.